Hi, my name is Mr. D and today I want to take a look at finding percents of a number without a calculator. So we have evaluate the following percents and we want to find 7% of 27.5. So for the first example what we want to do is we need to convert 7% into a decimal. So what we think about is 7% means 7 out of 100. And when we turn 7 hundredths into a decimal we're going to write this as point zero seven because remember two spaces after the decimal is hundredths and we have seven hundredths so we're writing seven percent as this decimal here but then we gotta think about what this means seven percent we're gonna write as point zero seven but we're finding seven percent of and in math the word of tells us to multiply so we're doing point zero seven times twenty seven point five so here's the deal once we get to this point here we want to write this as a long multiplication problem because it's not easy to multiply horizontally. So we have 27.5 times 0 0.07. But the thing is, when we're multiplying decimals, to make this problem easier, what we want to do is we want to turn this into a problem with all whole numbers. But to turn the top number into a whole number, we would need to move the decimal one place to the right. And that would transform that number into 275. For the bottom number, 0 0.07, we need to move the decimal two places to the right to turn that number into seven. But we have to remember that we jumped once to the right and two times to the right, a total of three jumps to the right. So we're gonna have to pay that back when we're done. So now we're doing seven times five is 35. We write our five, we carry a three from the 35. And then we have seven times seven is 49. 49 plus three is 52. We carry the 5 from the 52, and then we have 7 times 2 is 14. 14 plus 5 is 19. So remember what we said before, to transform this multiplication problem into a problem with whole numbers, we jumped a total of 3 spaces to the right. So now we take the decimal and we go 3 spaces to the left, which tells us that our answer to the first problem is 1.925. One estimation strategy you can use, notice 7% is really close to 10%. And if we were to take 10% of 27.5, all we would have to do to find 10% is move the decimal once to the left, which would give us 2.75. So it's good that our answer is close to 2.75, because if it was that far off, we would know we'd have to try it again. So for the second example, we're going to do the same thing. 13%, we could write it as 13 out of 100 which as a decimal equals 0.13. So once again, we translate. We have 0.13, that's 13%. Of tells us to multiply, and we're multiplying 41.26. So remember, we want to turn this into a long multiplication problem. So we're going to write this as 41.26 times 0.13. But the thing is, we don't want to multiply decimal terms, we want to multiply whole numbers. So what we're going to do is, we're going to move this decimal two places to the right, and we're going to move the bottom decimal two places to the right. This will transform the problem into 4,126 times 13. But remember, we went a total of four decimal spaces to the right, so when we're done, we have to go four decimal spaces back to the left. So from this step, 3 times 6 is 18, we carry the 1. We have 3 times 2 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. And then we have 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 4 is 12. We have to put a space here, since now we're multiplying from the tens place, we have to start in the tens place, we have 1 times 6, and we could cross out the numbers we carried so we don't accidentally add them a second time. So now we're doing 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 4 is 4. Okay, so the one of the last steps, now we just add up all these numbers here. So we have 8 plus 0 is 8, 7 plus 6 is 13, we have to carry a 1. So now we have 1 plus 3 plus 2, which is equal to 6. And then we have 2 plus 1 is 3, 1 plus 4 is 5. But remember what we said before. When we multiplied, we moved the decimal a total of four spaces to the right. We did two for the top, two for the bottom. So now we need to take this decimal and go four spaces back to the left. So we're going one, two, three, 
4. So the decimal is going to go right here. So our final answer to the second example is 5.3638 here like this. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on finding percents of a number without a calculator. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.